Now, what's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to be talking about the Activision stuff going on, and I've been asked a lot about it, and that's why I'm making this video. I've been asked a lot of my opinions of it, and I'll run through the situation very quickly because a lot of people have made videos on it. I'm sure most of you are aware of what's happening. So basically, Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 are unsafe to play online on PC, unless you're running a modded version of the game, because Activision is not taking care of their game, not taking care of their franchise, and now members of the community have to go out of their way to maintain the games that Activision made, and Activision won't do it themselves. And these modded versions of the game that are being made by these people, and just, just not even due diligence, just like out of their own good faith, just for the sake of the game, are being shut down. And I'll get into more of the why. There's a very obvious why if you haven't understood why they're being shut down. And this leaves zombies in an awful place because most, you know, our content creators uh, like me, you know, most other content creators were on PC. OK, and I can play Black Ops 3 offline. I can play Black Ops 1 offline. But yet again, both that creates a lot of issues and stuff. But for Black Ops 2, you can't play offline. Uh, and I know you're going to be like, oh, just don't stream it, even though streaming's a big part of my content stuff these days. Uh, yeah, I'd still be at risk playing it just normal recording. And it's not just like a mini virus or something like my literal hardware itself is at risk because it could just infest my PC. They can boot me offline whenever they want. So my entire like system itself is at risk at this point. If I were to go play online on a non modded version of the game and I need to keep this relatively toned down because I don't think I'm allowed to swear on YouTube for 10 minutes straight because that was what I was originally going to do because that's just how I feel at this point. But there are a few things I've done great on my channel so far, and that is giving my honest opinion and my true feelings on things and also being a little unhinged at times. So I'm, I'm going to get a little unhinged. I already know. I mean, like, I can't really stop it. But why haven't I made this video sooner? Uh, everyone made a video on it yesterday, and I just didn't want to. And it wasn't that I didn't want to talk about it. I kind of didn't because the motivation drain zombies i felt leave my body when that black ops 3 client got shut down was insane like i just felt like just the motivation just pulled and the reason for that is zombies if you don't understand is in a very awful position the new games just suck they really do and it's not just the zombies games it's the new games entirely i mean truly ask yourself this question what was the last call of duty you've played from the time it came out until the next one came out. So it's life cycle from the early November of whatever to the next November, even though now it's pushed in October at this point, we just keep pushing it up. I don't know why, but what's the last Call of Duty you've played fully through for a year straight consistently? I mean, for content, us content creators really only hang around Black Ops 1, 2, and 3 and sometimes World at War because those are the only games the majority of people enjoy anymore. And those are the only games I can enjoy anymore. And so a lot of us content creators, we all have this weight on us and it's the community is in a coffin. And if it takes 10 nails to close that coffin, we've been on the ninth nail for a while. Honestly, I thought we were on the ninth nail like four nails ago. We're still kicking. I don't know how. And this Activision stuff could be the 10th nail. And yet again, I know as a content creator, I generally want to try to stay positive. I want to bring light to situations. I want to just instill hope and that's the worst part of this whole activision thing is like there's nothing you can do there's no hope to be seen the only thing you can hope is that activision makes the spiritual and moral turnaround that we know they won't we know that they are just being slimy grimy money hungry because that's what this is all for if you don't understand the why these clients are being shut down activision is trying to kill off their older games. It's an attack on World at War through BO3 because if people aren't playing those games in their mind, people are going to go play the new games for and they want that for two reasons. For one, the player counts on the new games are not what they used to be able to pull. Why is that Activision? Why can't you pull the same player counts? Oh, it's cuz you just throw shit together and just send it out. And then you just put a bunch of bright microtransactions and go, ooh, buy this, buy this, buy this, which is the second reason they're trying to push people to these newer games. Microtransactions. Yeah, there were microtransactions in BO3, but who's buying BO3 microtransactions in 2023? 
I'm sure as hell not, and I don't think anyone else is. So they're trying to force people to these newer games just because they suck and no one wants to play them. And they're trying to force more money out of them. That's the only reason they're doing this. It's literally, it's in attack. It is also so sad to just really sit there and think about who are the people playing these older games. I'm just going to start classifying World of War through BO3 as these older games. Who are the people playing these games? The people that have been around Call of Duty for a decade or even more. I mean, I don't even know when I started playing Call of Duty. 2009? 2010? That's... I'm 22. That is over half of my life. I have spent playing this game very consistently. So in the process of trying to move all of these older players from these older games to these newer games, it's not going to work. It isn't who there's a reason we're not playing the older games. You think that we're so attached to the Call of Duty franchise that if you shut down these older games, we're going to move to the new ones. There's a reason we're not playing them. They're not fun. Act Activision, they're not fun because you aren't trying anymore. You just want money. You're not putting your heart into the game like you once did. And if there's one quote that I want you guys to just kind of sit on and really think about that I would want this video to be remembered for. That is, when did video games turn from this just, how do you wanna say it? This genuine just pastime, this way to bring everyone together, this just outlet, this able to just, like at the end of the day, you just play some games, just have some fun. It used to just be so genuine into such a money hungry soul sucking business when did that happen it's so sad to see and i still love the game and it, i'm in a very tough position i want to keep playing black ops one two and three i don't this isn't me this isn't me a quitting video i'm not quitting this isn't me quitting okay hold, we gotta hold that hold that down i want to keep playing these games right i really do and there's also a moral high ground I feel like I have to hold here that I don't want to keep supporting Activision and I'm going to keep playing these games, obviously, as long as I can. I mean, if they shut down plutonium, I'll still keep trying. But at this point, I've been asked a lot if there's going to be MW3 zombies whenever it comes out on my channel. And I told everybody, yeah, of course, I do zombie stuff. Of course, there's going to be. I can confidently say in this moment, I'm not buying MW3. And in 2024, when they make their next Zombies title, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to just because it supports Activision. And they also don't listen to their community, so I have no faith in that game being good. I have zero faith in Call of Duty 2024 doing anything. I, they're going to keep moving this. Example, in my opinion, Cold War doesn't feel like zombies. It feels like more spec ops. And I feel like Vanguard also, did, I don't know too much about Vanguard, but from what I've seen, it did the same thing. Basically, it's more of a spec ops feel than an actual zombies feel. And I know you're going to say Cold War is round based, but I mean, with the amount of stuff you're given, it feels like MW3 survival where you just have all these kill streaks, get whatever weapons you want, whenever you want. Like it's not, I don't understand. It's not what I fell in love with. And I want to sit here and call for a true boycott of these next few Call of Duty games, there's nothing else we could do. Uh, that's the whole reason the situation sucks so bad is when you're sitting back and the one group of people who can truly help this game are actively trying to destroy it. And all you can do is sit back and watch. It's awful. It's disheartening. And you're you're like, what can we do? You can't. You can't do anything. We just have to sit and wait. Like I truly just... If we could just just generate some community boycott of these next couple games, that'd be awesome. I understand that console players are unaffected by this. You don't really have too much of a dog in the fight. Rather than if this continues, I guarantee you your content stream coming off of YouTube is going to be way thinner. Like there's not going to be creators waking up every day to play the game, edit the videos, put them out actively try to get better ideas better content like why would they try to do that at a certain point and i don't want to just do the thing i'm not like calling people out i i get what they're doing where they're asking activision please don't shut down plutonium just please don't do it and i get why they're doing it but asking nicely just 
doesn't work for people who just seem to have no true heart with this. They seem to have lost touch with what has been built, with what has been sustained, kind of, somehow. Don't really know. I know that I should be sitting here a lot more positive, and it's hard. To, I just can't fake trying to have hope. I mean, I just, I worry about the state, the future state of the game. Honestly, I really do. I... I just don't have faith in the new games. I don't have faith Activision's going to get their head out of their ass and just listen to the people who they're making the game for. I mean, it's such a simple concept, but apparently they just don't understand. Listen, like, why are you going to try to pad your pockets by microtransactions rather than padding your pockets by a more alive active game? I mean, you guys have so much money anyway. Like, even if you make more of microtransactions, is it really worth it? Is it really? I I truly believe it's not. I plan on titling this video like my thoughts on Activision or something, and I know I've sprinkled them from within just throughout the video, but final thoughts on Activision. Let's come up here and talk. You guys are heartless, soulless, just apps. I have to be careful what I say. I don't think I can go too hard or I can get in trouble. Just grimy, money hungry, selfish, awful, don't deserve a birthday people. I, I wanted to keep going, but I got to be relatively careful. And if we could try to generate some sort of community boycott, I think that'd be awesome. I really do. I don't know how well it's going to work because I don't think multiplayer people are too concerned with this as much. I mean, SM2, they probably were, but a lot of people who play are on console. I get that. And... I truly just don't know what we do anymore. I, we had to just sit, we just have to sit back and watch. And that's what sucks. It's like, you just have to sit back and watch and just hope. So I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I'm going to keep streaming COD Zombies. I'm going to keep playing COD Zombies. I'm going to keep recording and editing COD Zombies. I'm going to keep loving the game, interacting with you guys, just bullshitting around in my streams. That's the exact way to describe my channel bullshit and streams yeah it's a good way of describing it and yet again i wish i could leave this on a high note i wish i could leave it on some sort of don't worry guys there's hope here and this all lies in activision's hands and they're actively trying to destroy the game they don't care about the fan count of the game they don't care how many fans of the game they are they don't care about the content side of it they don't care about any of that the only thing they care about is their bank balance and I don't understand how those people can truly just sit there and go through life being that heartless and you just wonder what they think about at night when they're sitting there thinking about their day and what they're going to do tomorrow I mean Activision it just I know I'm addressing a company as a whole but whoever is making these calls and doing this stuff do you really just look in the mirror and say, I can't wait to just pull hope from the world. I can't wait to just sit here and rip the hearts out of these people who want to break from the real world for a minute to just play games or watch content creators, videos and streams and stuff. I just don't get how that's your daily purpose. And again, I wish that I could have made this more positive. I wish I could have just shed some light on it, but just know that like on the content creator side, we are... We're trying. We're still going to try. Uh, I don't plan on stopping whatever I'm doing with zombies. Honestly, I've had a lot of fun just dying before round 10 on die rise. Yeah, it's about all I've done on this channel. But yet again, sorry for the more just downbeat video. I've just been asked a lot my opinions on it and I didn't want to sugarcoat things. So other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope all of this somehow unfolds in a good way for us. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.